YouTube friends, Alicia here, take two. This is the video of the journal that I was talking about in my, um, how I keep my journal costs low, the second part. So this is the journal bound together. It is not done. It's just the bones of the journal, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I've done uh, that has kept my journal costs low. So I have, you know, the 25 cent book I bought. I have a spine, uh, well, I made a spine for the little golden book. I used fabric and then that's just the back. I used pamphlet stitch and then some lace that I had and then corners from AliExpress. And then on the inside, I used adhesive back fabric that I had in my stash. And then uh, what I did was I went through some scrapbooking paper that I have had that is really pretty, but it's brighter than anything I use for my vintage journals. And that is, you know, that is my favorite theme. Either vintage I do or a specific theme journal. And I just, you know, never got to using this paper. And I thought this is perfect. The colors are, they're pastel, but they're bright, if that makes sense. So, and the other thing, I made this, it's going to get attached here. Um, I will do a video on that, making your own embellishments and how I save money by doing that. Um, the other thing is I dye all my own paper. I use Easter egg dye, I use food coloring, I use whatever kind of dye I can find. Uh, cheap. Uh, everything I've used has worked. this morning frame. I love the vibrant colors of this journal. This journal will be for sale. I will say because it is so heavy, the shipping will be expensive. The journal itself won't be terribly expensive, but the shipping will make it expensive. So that is unfortunate part of being in Canada, but it's the way it is. Um, and so yeah, if you are interested in this journal, let me know. Uh, in this video and I can try and customize it for you if you you know if you'd like if you have specific things that you want done to it um, this page is in upside down which doesn't really bother me because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it here tap punch it here and then I'll make tags to go in on the top and so that doesn't bother me at all because it also allows um, when it's sealed that you can put a picture here, you can put writing here, and still have that pocket. This is a magazine page that I've just made into an envelope. And I will fix the tears in the pages, you know, with some washi or pockets or whatever. I don't know, maybe that's why I can't sell my journals. They're not... I have a hard time selling my journals. Perfect. But for me, junk journaling isn't about a perfect junk journal. It's about putting together junk, if that's what you want to call it, and using it. Um, because I use my journals, I have a really hard time making them overstuffed before I use them. And it's not because I don't know how, you know, to make all those fancy embellishments and things like that. I do know how. I don't have a lot of patience for it. I have the stuff for it, but I am working in a journal right now that I love. It is... I really like how these doilies came out. These are just sprays that I've made. Um, it is my favorite journal that I've ever received. Love it. it. Makes me happy every time I see it. But it is so chunky um, because there are so many pages and so... It's not even really heavily embellished, but it's thick. Um, that I have to try and prop it up and angle it right so that I can add my own things to it. And, you know, I will use it because, like I said, it's my favorite journal. And it makes me happy. But I have a hard time making journals that way. This page is in right, so that's a bonus. Uh, because, you know, the practicality aspect of it. And I do understand 
that not everybody uses their journals. Some people um, use them more as a decoration. I do like the really, really embellished fancy journals. However, I have seen what they cost and I understand what they cost because I understand the work that goes into them. Um, I can't afford a hundred dollar coffee table decoration and I'm not making fun of anybody you guys I'm just that's the way it is for me so I don't tend to do that I think this bag is vintage I don't know where it came from but it matched and I really like it and I will add stamping and things like that to this journal And if it doesn't sell this journal, it will be one I use, so I am not worried about that either. The money is um, that I make for my journals, which isn't a whole lot, but the money I do use, um, or do make, is going towards university. I will be starting university come, well, I was hoping to do it come to November, but come December, I will be taking more courses. And I've managed to use most of my dyed paper, which makes me happy in one sense because I need to do another batch and I don't like having just, you know, the odd piece of it here and there. But I also hate dyeing paper. Love this paper. This is K and Company paper, by the way. It's old. And I had three of each sheet, so each signature has the same pages in it. This is really pretty. It's another magazine page. And I had those made up too, so I just added them to the journals because they were bright colors. Because there is no coffee dyeing in here, it's really good for pictures, and some of you know I add a lot of pictures to my journals. I I don't enjoy scrapbooking so much anymore, but I do enjoy taking pictures and having the memories of the pictures. So I will, you know, just put a piece, a picture in. I might mat it, I might not. I don't tend to do a lot with the pictures, but I do like them in my journals. And I have some tags and stuff um, made up for the journal that aren't in here yet. And that is the back. I will leave the back, like, I, I'll fix the strings. It's, like I said, this is very, just bare bones. It's sewing in. And that's about as far as I've gotten. Journal. I'm going to have a lace pocket covering this. I don't know what happened here. Because it's not sticking up the top, so or I mean, it's not low on the top, so I don't know why that happened. But I must have had something cut wrong. But yeah, I'm going to put a lace pocket on the inside here. And then, of course, the lace will overhang it. And I cover that. So, I have talked enough in this video. I am tired. I need to get ready for bed. So, if you're interested in this journal, uh, let me know in the comments below and I can try and customize it for you. Um, any questions or comments, leave those below. Thank you for watching.